hit the behind post. I think it's one point. Oh, it must have been behind the beat. Actually behind it. That's it was right. obviously crossed the line and just clipped the behind post. So it's registered as a point. Ball back into play now by um, by uh, North Melbourne. Dents a short pass that time to Dawes. Another hand pass over to Falcon. North Melbourne gradually seeing this claim slip away from oh, it's a bad pass. And a mark taken there by Rolls. We see the score. 13 22 Hawthorne or North Melbourne 10 10 and Rollings has the ball out there on the half forward line 23 minutes gone of this last quarter for the 76 grand final as we wait for Rollins to send him into attack he's kicked the ball now up to the full forward pocket position oh going through as Henry played a magnificent game today trying to force his way through the back and the umpire's going to give a free kick for holding the ball and the free kick to go to Paul Feltham down there in the back pocket Feltham to take the free kick Riding on uh, was 30 points the difference. Up it goes now. Oh, he's got to pay that mark to uh, O'Halloran. These defenders have been fantastic. O'Halloran, Polking Hall, you can name anyone you like. They've stuck with their job from the very word go. Bustling and hustling the North Melbourne forwards and stopping them from that play on game and getting that handball going. There's the ball now. Driven up there by uh, O'Halloran up towards the full forward zone. Ball hits the deck now. There's uh, Henry trying to get clear. And the umpire's going to ball it up about 35 metres out from the uh, Hawthorne goal. Waiting for the umpire to throw it down. Going with this knockout is Nolan and Jones. Knocked out by Nolan. Cable picks it up. Hasn't been the dynamic player today. And a mark taken this time by Duke. They're kicking it and making mistakes left and right and centre uh, North Melbourne. And they're still struggling, Lee. You've got to well, give they, them credit right. there. They're they won't give up. The mark taken by Ablett over there on the half forward flank on the southern side. Waiting for Ablett to put Hawthorne into attack. He's just taking his time. Hawthorne feel they've got this grand final one. A big kick now from Ablett right down to the teeth of goals. Up goes Henry. But uh, Cowton spoils in. Cowton picks the ball up. He's taken to the ground there by uh, Lee Matthews. Grabbed too high, says umpire Kevin Smith. And Cowton will take the result in free kick. Actually between the fullback position and the centre half back. Here's Cowton. Gets it towards the weak position on the northern side. Plenty of Hawthorne players there. But the North Melbourne boys are coming through. In comes Peter Knight. Hick doing battle with him. Taken away by Sutton. He's met there by Bremner. Bremner comes through. He cops one. He's getting the free kick for a trip. Ian Bremner. They're ferocious, these back men of Hawthorne. Got confidence in each other as Bremner takes that kick. Up Mick, Mick Nolan's in the centre of that. Martello knocks it down towards Goad. Goad was held. He gets a push in the back. And Alan Goad of Hawthorne will take the free kick on the half forward flank on the northern side. We're in the time on in the 1976 grand final. 26 minutes gone. As we wait for Goad to take his kick. Waiting on Goad to have his kick uh, from that half forward line. It's a good kick. Right in the, uh, just about in the full forward squares. We see the ball dropped that time by Dents. Now he's got it. He's in the back pocket, ready to make a move out towards this half-back line towards Greg, and Greg takes the mark. A little short of half-back. Into this quarter by about 26 and a half minutes. And they're trailing by uh, 30 points, uh, Hawthorne. I'd say they got this grand final sewn up. And by golly, they have deserve it because they've played like real champions, a real team today, as we see Go take a mark out there on the half-forward line. Waiting on Go to send them into attack again. Both sides very tired. But I think Michael will agree that, that we've never seen a much better defence than Hawthorne have put up here today. They've been magnificent. Impregnable. That's the word. I couldn't think of it as the ball is kicked up towards the full forward zone now. Moncrief goes for the tap. There's Cable driving the ball back towards centre field. Ah, oh, the mark there that time. A beautiful mark to O'Halloran. They've played in front. They've played from behind. They've played it from the side and they've beat them all day. He's been an absolute rock, O'Halloran, as we wait for him to take his kick. But don't forget, this is North Melbourne's third successive grand final. They won it last year, but they're in trouble this year, 76. The ball taken away by Cable of North Melbourne. He's going for that bit of a run. Cable kicks it over the centre. Up goes Malcolm Blight and takes the mark, plays on immediately. The side goes! Hawthorne have won it! Hawthorne have won the 1976 grand final. Full credit to them. And our congratulations to North Melbourne for one hell of a battle. The final scoreboard reads in the 1976 Grand Final. Let's see that final scoreboard. Hawthorne 13, 22, 100. North Melbourne 10, 10, 17.